Hello, welcome to Ratio and Proportion series of IndiaEDU.com. In our previous classes, we have discussed about basic concepts of ratio and proportion with some examples. Today, we would be discussing some examples of ratio and proportion. First example is the marks scored by a student in three subjects are in a ratio 4 ratio 5 ratio 6. If the candidate scored an overall aggregate of 60% of the sum of maximum marks and maximum marks in all three subjects is same, in how many subjects did he score more than 60%? So in this question, first of all, we need to find out the maximum marks. So let's suppose that maximum marks in each subject is 100. So let maximum marks in each subject is equal to 100. So maximum marks in three subjects would be 3 into 100. That is 300. Now it is given that he scored overall aggregate of 60% of the maximum marks. So 60% of 60, 300 would be 60% of 300 is equal to 60 upon 100 into 300. That is 60 into 3 is 180. We discussed this in our percentages classes. So total overall marks are 180. Now the marks are in the ratio of 4, ratio 5, ratio 6 and we need to find out in how many subjects he scored more than 60%. So the ratio, the formula that we have taught in our previous class, using that formula, we would find out this 4x, 5x and 6x. So the combination of that is 4x plus 5 plus 6 would be equal to 180 degree. So let's suppose the marks were 4x plus 5x plus 6x, which is equal to 180. Now this will 4 plus 5 plus 6 is 15x is equal to 180 degree and x is equal to 180 divided by 15 which gives you 12. So value of x is 12 but he actually scored 4x. So 4x is equal to 12 into 4, 48. 5x is equal to 12 into 5, 60. And 6x is equal to 12 into 6 that is 72. So he scored total 48 in one subject, 60 in another and 72 marks in third subject. Now our question is in how many he scored more than 60%. So he scored more than 60% in only one subject. So answer is one subject. Now let's have another example. Next example is the ratio of boys to girls in a class is 5 ratio 3. The class has 16 more boys than girls. How many girls are there in a class? Now let's, because it's given that the ratio is 5 ratio 3, so let's suppose that total boys in the class are 5x and girls are 3x. Now, the class has 16 more boys than girls so if we add 16 number to girls then that would be equal to boys so 3x plus 16 is equal to 5x similarly 16 is equal to 5x minus 3x that is 5 minus 3x 16 is equal to 2x so 16 by 2 is equal to x that is 8 the value of x is 8 and we need to find out total number of girls in the class and girls are 3x so 3x is equal to 3 into 8 3 into 8 is equal to 24 is the answer let's have another example next example is three friends Alice, Bond and Charlie divide $1105 amongst them in such a way that if $10, $20 and $15 are removed from the sums that Alice, Bond and Charlie received 
respectively then the share of the sums that they got will be in the ratio of 11 ratio 18 ratio 24 how much did charlie received now in these type of questions you need to think that how the question can be solved as the ratio is given 11 ratio 18 ratio 24 but the sum of these ratio is not given but that sum can be calculated if we deduct this total amount that is 10 plus 20 plus 15 from this then that amount is divided into ratio that is 11 18 and 24 so let's do it as there are three friends Alice Bond and Charlie so let's represent it by A B and C let's say A has received x rupees x dollar sorry b has received y dollars and c has received z dollars now and after and after if we need to convert it in a ratio then dollar 10 are subtracted from a's sum that is x minus 10 and from b's sum 20 dollars are subtracted and from c's sum 15 dollars are subtracted that is z minus 15 now their sum is equal to 11 18 and 24 now let's subtract the sum of 10 20 and 15 from the total sum so that that remaining amount can be divided into 11 18 and 24 so dollar 10 plus dollar 20 plus dollar 15 is equal to 10 and 20 30 plus 15 is 45 now if we subtract it from the total amount that is 1105 minus 45 is equal to 1060 now this amount is divided into the ratios and say these ratios are 11 18 and 24 let's say this is 11k 18k and 24k so let's say it is 11k plus 18k plus 24k is equal to 1060. Now this will sum up to 11 and 18, 9 and 433, then 2, 3 and 53k is equal to 1060. So value of k is equal to 1060 divided by 53 that is 20 now total amount of the c we need to find out the share of charlie which is 24k plus the dollar subtracted from his amount is 15 15 dollars value of k is 20 24 into 20 plus 15 which is 480 plus 15 which gives us 495 dollars as the answer so charlie's share was 495 dollars i hope you have understood these questions for more tutorials stay tuned with indiaedu.com